everybody hello welcome back to the flag and slayers uh i guess youtube exclusive episode yeah <laughs> members only episode members mm. only no twitch is uh <laughs> obs twitch and being twitch stupid, is not so, uh, enjoying uh, this right now so. uh, yeah, what? So. New. caleb does joking work in what context hunter yeah what's this joking? context does it work i'm not doing this Where are you? i'm not saying uh, i'm not anyway Caleb is going to give a little recap for the group, because yep. I'm sure some of us don't remember. Sure. I don't remember. Sure don't. Uh, okay. Last time, ahead, we were in uh, Westron. We uh, we really fucked around a lot, a lot in the last episode. It was our first episode back from Hunter's Wedding. It's true, um, So, for the most part, uh, it was just us kind of deciding... Um, we're in Westron right now, trying to stop Thea from exploding because she has uh, some sorcery magic that is within her that if, every time she goes to meditate she has a chance to explode so and it gets higher she's and higher actually, she's actually pregnant <laughs> yeah that's what that's uh, what the <laughs> baby could come out at any moment it's really just a huge fart we don't know but um <laughs> Basically, uh, there's another group, the New Five, that we've been... If you've seen the last episode, I don't know why you wouldn't then come to this one. But there's a New Five. Weird, yeah, I know. There's a New Five. Uh, it's a group of uh, different adventurers that are apparently actually helping as the uh, five that we've been dealing with for the almost the entire campaign are uh, bad. So this is a different group of five that are kind of like... Zach. They're like <laughs> months back of us on trying to figure out what's going on and somehow one of them looks very much like Thea's mother but a younger version of Thea's mother than Thea remembers when, when she passed Abby, does anyone besides Abby remember Thea's mom's name Mary Gold Thea's mom Thealia <laughs> Mrs. Thea's no, mom that, that's like <laughs> the wrong way to pronounce Thea's actual full length name mm -hmm. Hunter, you were you were close Theotopolis. Uh, you know, that's the city I will be founding later in Theotopia. my life. Uh, Thea Ann. She's not a junior, guys. Thea's not a junior. <laughs> Thea one. I am anyway, the one and only. Abby, would you like to say what your mom's character's Her? your character's mom's name is? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh god! Frenella. Yeah, it's Frenella. Frenella. Guys. Frenella. Okay. Her so he looks kind of like her is named Nelly. Our, yeah, Nelly yeah. is the the late. <laughs> so the entire no, thing I knew only the, Abby would catch that. Our entire <laughs> last episode was basically just tr walking to their camp 
and then yeah, getting so to their camp and spying on one of them talking to a god from another plane we did do that at the very beginning of the episode so there is some sort of connection with winnow gear which is the god uh that is from the other plane where the rest of the five have kind of gained a lot of their powers from and some of them are from um so we are trying to kind of connect uh thea with nelly in some way to try to stop the explosion because nelly also has uh the the same of what we can see the same thing that thea has which is she could explode with the amount of source sorcery magic that is within her so right now we're sitting around their campfire everyone has talked to everyone i think except for anzu and i talking to cyrus cyrus uh and they basically were like oh yeah if you guys want to figure this out you can walk with us for two for two weeks we don't have two weeks we have got three weeks left before the entire thing fucking Roughly. explodes it's been, it's been a day or two since the three week mark so. we have two weeks and six days left five -ish days, six -ish i'll go days. back and i'll go back and look at when we slept because yeah. i'm i'm making it. not amazing time but so enough. we're just gonna pretty much i think our plan was just to outright we'll be done by october uh, question for the dm uh yes. If I were to turn the into a T-Rex, would that make the explosion bigger? Have you seen a T-Rex? <laughs> no. Then I... If I draw one, and he sees the draw. Wait, Andrew were... has seen a Tarrasque, hasn't he? Yes. Oh! That's turn essentially that. a giant T-Rex. <laughs> Does that mean it would explode that much bigger? You, you don't know? Making our making our condo check for me. Two weeks and six yeah. days, and our entire. Yeah. I love to think that Anzu's thinking about this while eating his eggs at the campfire. If I turn Thea into a Tarrasque. <laughs> Twenty-one. <laughs> um. Well, it depends. Sorcerer magic is based off of innate magical ability, and it's kind of like they have like a magical battery. So if the body is bigger, then the battery probably would have to scale for the size of the creature. I will study this more uh, in at, at at dinner. I think the last <laughs> we're at breakfast. The I think the last thing we we stopped on was we decided we probably just need to straight up be like, here's the deal, guys. We know all these stuff that the, you're trying, all the stuff you're trying to figure out, and Nelly obviously has an issue, and we know that you're talking to a god from another plane. I think that's kind of the conversation we we had at the end of last mm -hmm. episode. I don't know if it was on camera or not, but we had that conversation of we just need to be straight up with these people. We don't have the time to fuck around. So well, why don't we yeah, just the gather them around? To try right. to cast a spell on me. Why don't we all just okay. all sort of sit was. together and uh, spell on and you? Thea uh, interacted with Nelly, and Nelly was a little weird. Thea got real upset. Yeah, Thea was real upset. He's spaghetti. She went to go pout. Whoa, Nelly. Yeah. <laughs> How long? How long, Brady? How long you been holding that one? Uh, that one had to be sitting. <laughs> Ever <laughs> since the chamber for a while. <laughs> Longer than I'd like to say. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's get back into it. So, um, Cirrus is still kind of on the perimeter, watching uh, Gunther's uh, trap disarming. Uh, Still judging him for how crude his traps are. Uh, Thea is having her pout in the woods. Mm -hmm. um, Big pouty. Zygon. I, I can imagine just her going out there. Going... <laughs> <laughs> just like Zygon went to go check out the breakfast situation. One like flies back at her. Atlantis Morissette oh. playing in the background. Yeah, she's also thinking about this how how tall T Rexes are. Do you know they're only twelve feet tall at the hip? <laughs> Abby, did you go through a dinosaur phase real quick? No, my boyfriend did, though. There was a night where I walked into the bar he works at, and then he just was, every single person he talked to, he was like, did you know? How old, how tall do you think T-Rexes are? <laughs> and they were like, I don't know. And he was like, 12 feet at the hip. <laughs> and I was like, what? I was like, okay. He was what just like, heck? he's like, shorter than you thought, huh? I thought you were going to say there was a night I walked in on him. You're and then We're I didn't know it was going to happen after that. Action figures. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's the... That would also not surprise that's me. That's the PG but... version of where I thought this story was going. I'm not going to lie. Anyway. Thought, where did you uh, think that was going? It was a night I walked in and he was dressed up as a T-Rex and I just walked right back out. <laughs> He's actually just alien. <laughs> I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> it based um, on your own. The based on movement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Anzu and Animus. 
you two are at the fire with Cyrus as uh, he's kind of cleaning everything, getting things packed up, uh, putting the campfire out. Um, both of you make perception checks for me. Oh, I'm perceiving all right. It's kind of hard without dice. I you better fucking mute your mic. you not get your dice out? I'm not going to mute it, remember? Oh, I have the... He just pulls a giant bag out. I don't have to di d dump them anymore. I've got this. That's new. That's I got neat. it for Christmas. Neat. All right. Let's so roll. It's not new at all. How much of a dice goblin do you have to be that someone who loves you buys you a dice caddy? My perception's a 16. Okay. Uh, that's not the dice I want to use. I got 13. Use. I rolled a 4 13. on that, so I don't want to use those okay. tonight. Um, Animus, you notice as Cyrus is cleaning up, you see um, oh my God. what Hurry. looks like faint scarring on his palm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it looks like perhaps like razor wire or some sort of like blades have cut his hands and they've just scarred over time. Okay. I don't know what's... Okay. I take note. Okay. Yeah, he continues cleaning up. Well, uh, if if you want to come along, I know uh, you probably you probably uh, travel a little bit faster than we do, but uh, we'd be happy to have you. Yeah, why are you guys not just teleporting there? Well, um, you have to ask the people who are more magically inclined. Uh, I, for one, couldn't even produce a little bit of a fire. Was, just pfft, nothing. Was there no one in Western who may be able to, you know, like, send you there or anything? I mean, we can send you there, like, quickly if you'd like to. I think the... I think a more um, important thing here is... Um, there's a lot more information we need to talk to you about that uh, Anzu brought up, and that um, a lot of your questions you need answered will probably just be answered by the knowledge we already know. So. Um, Animus, as you're saying this, I need you... What's the save? No. Pass. I'd like to pass on that one. Uh, double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> Go fish, uh, Jacob. Let me see here. I don't There's have what you're die. looking for. Ooh, what does it look like? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's from the Slay the Spire board game. Is it just a D6? It is a D6, but it's the, the claw marks from the claw. The claw... <laughs> Caleb, make a perception check. Okay. Alright. 22. Nice. No. You, you percepted. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll do that. You have percepted. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <Okay. laughs> um, I need you to make a... Uh, he's gonna die. This is it. Death saving throw. He must he's be an eight. He's done something about his scarred hands. He needs to make a what? Wisdom saving throw. Oh, my dice are in the way. Hold on. Here we go. What's my... I don't have my... You tried to talk I'm about high level Caleb, magic. You... I don't have any magic. Yeah, I'm totally <laughs> prepared for, for this. I'm very prepared for this. Uh, That's going to be... A 25. Okay. Um... So as uh, you kind of bring that up, and Cyrus is kind of listening to you, you feel yourself kind of tense for a second, like you're making Arcana check. Yeah, I was gonna say, can I try to figure out what's happening here with that? Yeah, with that Arcana big check. roll there. You feel your muscles kind of tense a little bit. Am I allowed to add guidance to myself for an Arcana check? Uh, I would say mm, this is like a react. This is like a split second reaction. So. Okay. Uh, 15. 15. Uh, 
someone or something is trying to cast hold person on you. You need line of sight on that. Can you I look do. Around? You don't know oh. that he's being affected. I'm gonna. Oh. If hunters are if Anzu's next to me, I'm gonna kind of. check. I'm gonna Anzu, give Anzu a perception check. Let's see if you notice something weird. Going wait, wait, there. wait! Can I give him a look to like kind of like be like, like a sure. like a little look just so he does the Arcana check and kind of overgoes the perception? Anzu, what'd you roll? Uh, f what is it, Arcana or perception? Perception. Ah, that's pretty good. It's a uh, twenty, but it's thirty. Let's go. So you notice. Animus kind of tense up, and the last few words he says kind of jumble and kind of stumble a little bit, which, you know, Animus can sometimes get a little flustered, but he seems to be confident right now, so you're like, mm. I'm gonna... So you look around, there are currently three people looking in your direction that could have line of sight for a whole person. There's Annalise, Nelly, and Gunther. Annalise is the one we know talked to Winogear, right? Yeah. Is okay. she the one that cast a spell on me? I tried to. I tried to, yeah. Put a spell Wait, on Isn't hold person also like, some, like, don't you have to use hand movements? So yeah, like... but that would have already happened by the time you're okay. picking it up. Um, I mean, which one of them's the wizard? It's it's uh, Annalise, right? So you don't know their classes, um, but you've been an adventurer for a pretty long time. Um, Gunther is an artificer. Um, Annalise is a paladin. Oh, and, she could have casted it, yeah. And, uh, Nelly is a sorcerer. So her and the sorcerer could have, okay. Oh, child's play. Cyrus looks at you a little concerned and goes, uh, you, you okay? Yes, he just got very excited. A little but, bit too excited. Maybe we bring everyone in, Anzu? Yes, um, Cyrus... How about this? If you could entertain a conversation with us, I will be more than happy to take us to wherever we need to go. Is that a deal? Uh, well, I mean, I'm not really the final say in the group, um, but I could bring it up with Annalise. Just I have love that. Bring them all in. Just bring them. Bring everyone in, so we can just have a chat. You know, if we're gonna go together or not, we probably just have a, a little chat before we walk, anyways. Uh, make introductions maybe in order I'm adding guidance to this one mm. it's gonna be a 12 uh well uh I mean I'll talk I'll talk to her and see what she might want to do you know the, the old walk and talk thing because I know we're in kind of a hurry um, R right, but as Enzo said, we can send you there. Yeah, uh, I'll uh, I'll bring it up to her. Of course, yes. No. And you see, Cyrus finishes packing his cooking gear. Cyrus. Cy. Oh. You should make a perception check. What are, what are you? What's up, Anzu? What's up? Can I sidebar Anzu? Yeah, go right ahead. Anzu, somebody tried to hold, uh, put a hold person spell on me while we were Oh, yes, talking. don't worry about it. I saw it. It was such hog cock. No, no, I, I kn it was easy to, like, push off. It's just more the thing of, like, somebody knows what we already know in this camp, and I think we both know who that person is. So I think it's just important. We do. Well, a Annalise was talking to um, Winogear. But it could be someone else. It could be more than just one of them that's in on this. I'd so. like to turn around and use power word kill. <laughs> <laughs> Legitimately? Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, Sirius, what'd you get on that perception check? I got a 10. Okay. Looks like it might snow later today. Kind of like a late in the season snow. Lovely. That's our ranger. So it's a so, bit chilly out here, isn't it? Ooh. Got there. Uh. What? <laughs> nah. Okay. Um. <laughs> you guys see Cyrus go up to Annalise. 
Um, does anyone have, like, lip reading or the ability to, like, hear long distances? I got glaucoma. Can I... <laughs> can I well, use... Glaucoma affects his eyes and heightens his hearing. Ooh, like Daredevil. <laughs> can I use either Alter Self or... Uh, They're gonna know that. Primal... <laughs> It'd be so obvious. Just, no, just you... on my ear. Turn to it turn it into a a more a crow with cat off. ears. I have a hood on. The ears go. Yes. <laughs> just a a crow with owl ears. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's a bird ear. I just you I, certainly can the try. only thing I'm altering is inside. Do it you certainly you can try. I'd like to try. What do I need to do to? Just you'll use alter self and we'll see yeah, if it just does. Let anything. them have their conversation. Okay. Uh, so you see Cyrus talking to Annalise, and the two of them. It seems as though she's getting a little flustered as they're talking, and he he does one of these, you know, where he's just like, mm. and um, she finally just says, and she says this loud enough for most of you to hear. Cyrus, I don't moving. care what they have to say. We need to get moving. This is urgent. And he comes back over to you too. Well, she's um, she woke woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. Um, but if you want to, um, I I take up the rear of of our this here little caravan. So um, if you want, you can ride with me, and we'll uh, we'll, uh you can talk talk with me. Sure. Uh, sidebar with Anzugan. As he's standing right in front of you, waiting for your response? No, I'm gonna say, <laughs> sure, and then, uh, kind of, like, walk over to, like, grab some of our supplies with Anzu. Sidebar okay. with Anzu doing that. So it's not okay. like, it's not just like a grab him and be like, weird situation. Okay. Anzu, you think we just straight up tell them that we, like, what we know here? Like, maybe just, like, go over to enemies and be like, hey, we know what's going on, all right, mm -hmm. Nelly, and like we saw you talking to Winnow here. I think Annalise is a very small part of all this. I think if we wait, might be able to smoke out something bigger. Maybe, but do we have the time to travel for maybe even the whole day would be a waste of a day, especially in Thea's case. If she wants to sleep talk tonight. to Cyrus. Of course. He seems <clears throat> somewhat interesting. And I put my hand on his shoulder. I'd be cast interested guidance. in knowing that he okay. is supposed to be anyway dead. That's also good. That's why I was just gonna group them all up, and then if they decide to attack us, we just ah, burn them. I love it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, basically, yeah. Good ideas. Um, Thea. That was a joke. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thea, what are you doing? Well, uh, it looks as though everyone else is kind of starting to get in line for a little, little bit of a caravan here. Um, I'll kind of make my way back. Um, <clears throat> and just kind of be just quietly join uh, back up with the group and like. Keep an eye on Nelly. Okay. <clears throat> Seriously, I need to make a perception check for me. Fucking Christ. <laughs> it's a nine. There goes our ranger. You know, uh, you look at the snow that's freshly laid on the ground from last night's a little bit of a flurry. Um, it's... it's that like kind of slushy snowball snow, you know, the good stuff for packing snowballs. Mm. But um, pretty nice. Man, this is some uh, some good snow for some snowballs, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Zygon, <clears throat> I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. Okay. If if Smudge will move. <laughs> I love how much Smudge is not trying to get out of the way. 
But any other time, if I'm moving in, she's like offended and bails. <laughs> oh, but I'm... All right, so that's fourteen plus two, three. twenty-three. Okay. <clears throat> you see something at the edge of this thicket that's kind of looking at you, and you hear like this faint whisper in the back of your mind, but it's just just a little bit, it, it's just it's like you, just a, they're speaking words but you can't understand what they're saying and you can't quite tell what the figure is it seemed like human? humanoid, yeah it's, it's a human shape hmm is, who, is there anyone around me or am I off by myself? You're kind of just standing off by yourself now. Everybody else is kind of moving. You're taking up the rear. I'm going to holler that I'm going to go... Uh, i got to take a leak. I'm going to go check it out. Okay. Uh, so, who is riding with Cyrus? I am. So Cyrus has a little... Car- like a little wagon thing. With uh, an ox that takes it and then there's another one and then Annalise is in front riding this fully armored horse that just randomly appeared it appears as though she may be cast the fine steed spell um mm. that's good to note because that means she cannot concentrate on another spell while she's doing that which means um, kill her now <laughs> which means she can't do a detect magic or something like that that would allow her to see what we're doing with our own magic and or read anybody's thoughts. Um, Jacob is double checking your reasoning. I'm double checking to see why... Let me see here. The reasoning is concentration. You can't cast another concentration. Find Steed is not a concentration spell. Um, actually... What? <laughs> find, find Steed is a concentration oh. spell. <laughs> what? But it does not require concentration. Get fucked, Caleb. My conjure animal spells don't do that, and I thought I was higher level, so. Well, find Steed is a paladin thing. It's not. It's... Oh, it's not a conjuration spell then. Right? No, it is a conjuration spell. It's just a spell that only paladins really. I use. don't understand paladins. <laughs> Um, this was what happened but, when Hunter played a paladin in one of my one shots like two years ago. I was like, "What the fuck is this? What are paladins? Yeah. paladins? Paladins are weird, dude. They have oh, like the yeah. weirdest ability to be so OP at low levels, and it's crazy." Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so in the in the center cart is Gunther and Nelly and uh, and Maxim. They're in the center, and then Cyrus is in the back with you two. And then, Thea, are you walking, or are you gonna... What are you doing? <clears throat> I'm like Charlie Brown walking behind the... Um... Do, do, do. <laughs> Just like, do, really, really sad. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> um... Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, just like depressed. Um, <laughs> There's like a rain you know. cloud, like... <laughs> wild magic has manifested a rain cloud Wait. above only you. <laughs> oh, Wait. is it gonna work? Is it gonna work? Maybe. Maybe. Oh. No. It only worked that one session. No. No. <laughs> I was doing it the other day. What a time. Know. What a time to be alone. Um. There it is. There we go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, editor Caleb put in like three seconds of the Charlie Brown music. Just right over that. Oh my God. Focus only on the. Uh... <laughs> Don't um, YouTube editor me here. <laughs> Editor, so put in an much. edit of Charlie Brown walking across the screen right now. So, uh, Zygon, you go off in the woods, kind of keeping an eye on the convoy, knowing you can catch up. And while, while I'm walking, I would also like to, to uh, use my divine sense to detect any celestial fiend or undead. Uh, it is There's celestial. Any... And undead at the same oh. time. Of course oh. it is. I'm going to keep going towards it. As you get closer, this figure kind of, this like black mist kind of circles around them and you see it kind of washing like in and out and there's not like a clear, like you just see a silhouette of a figure. 
Um, you notice around this figure in about a 20 foot radius all the trees, all the grass, all the animals dead. Jeez. Hmm. Is it giving a threatening vibe off? I mean, all the dead stuff is pretty yeah. threatening. Um, yeah. Yeah. You see your sword begin to kind of glow faintly. I'll pull it out. Yeah. You see this shade like figure kind of walk back a few paces. Um, Does it seem to have any just... healing properties or anything over the undead aura? <laughs> Uh, it seems to repel it. Your your sword seems to repel the undead aura a little bit. Um, but uh, I need you to make another wisdom saving throw. Gonna reroll that. Uh, twenty four. <laughs> okay. You hear this like faint sound of screaming and then you feel yourself kind of as you're walking the mist kind of goes towards you and as you walk you're no longer in the thicket you look around I I and it up. yeah you have your sword as you look around um, you instinctively almost like the primal part of your brain activates your armor and it forms around you. Um, the smoke clears and you see fire and magma. As you look around, you stand in the street of <laughs> hot magma. Um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you feel the stone beneath your feet as you look around and you are in this magnificent, or at least once magnificent city. You see, uh, buildings on fire, people running and screaming, women and children crying, um, and these strange shadow creatures attacking the guards of the city. Um, you then see a young, well... Young is a relative term. You see, like, a 35, 40-year-old um, man, human man, with uh, a sword in hand and wearing uh, really fine, almost like a captain of the guard sort of uh, attire. He's just running in, saving people, slashing at these shadow creatures. You see silver hair that's kind of flying back uh, into a very tight uh, ponytail. Um, as he's just slashing and going, and then uh, a, a shadow creature comes behind him and slashes at him, and as he turns to try and block it, you see it goes down his face and scars his eye as he kind of holds it. He steps back, blood trickling down. Um, he makes eye contact with you, and there's like... You recognize him, he does not recognize you. Um, you see Mathis... Younger than you've ever seen him, but perhaps you know how he got one of the scars he received. Um, your vision, the smoke from the from the magma and the ash washes over you, and you begin looking around. And now you're in some sort of church or temple, and you see this symbol... Um, of a woman who is both half dead and half vibrant and youthful um, down the middle. Um, you see a statue of her, one hand uh, outstretched towards the sky as the other one dangles down to the side. Um, and you see a man also probably in his early 30s, late 20s, um, he also has silver hair, but his is more choppy and kind of haphazard. You see scars etch the back of his skull um, as uh, he looks much more um, haggard and he's been through a lot. Um, you also see some sort of... There's, he has an aura around him of demonic origin. 
just kind of this like shadow and he um you see him pull a sword out and the five heads ignite on it as he drives the sword into the statue shattering it and as it shatters you feel the ground begin to quake and then the dust from the statue falling washes over you and you're back in the thicket Jesus okay so that was Marcaeus right yeah you don't know you assume you also the shadow figure in front of you the smoke kind of clears around them and you see the the decayed visage of Benogir um and she turns to you and says for her to live the other must die and it echoes kind of through your head and then she says beware false idol and then she just fades away okay sus I am gonna take that leak now <laughs> that was weird that was weird mm-hmm. Yep. You try and write your name on that in the snow. Thing. You always have trouble with the Z. Yeah, they're tricky. Fucking relatable. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, take it off and uh, I'll make my way back to the group. Alright. I'm glad that's a detail. Yep. Yeah. Right. Two shakes. Any more I'm playing with myself. Uh, I get that reference. Uh, so, you make it back. Three shakes um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I need you to make a constitution saving throw for me. Four, four just to double check. Yeah, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Who knows when I'll be able to watch my, my linens <laughs> again. Yeah, if you've already gone that far, you might as well. Fuck it, let's make it 20. Now I'm gonna just jerk off and let him <laughs> While I'm here. Uh, the tree looks extra <laughs> the tree looks extra curvy today. It's a Rick and Morty joke. <laughs> That's like an early Rick and Morty joke. Jesus Christ. I don't know if you guys know that one. No, but I <laughs> no, um, was funny. Jacob, you know that one, right? Yeah, I'm, gonna credit, I'm gonna credit you for that one, Caleb. Thank you. All right, Thea, what'd you roll? Eighteen. Okay. Uh, do you want me to roll percentage dice or you? Oh god, did I do it last time or did you? You did do I it last I did. time. And then I'll do. Why? It. Why did you give her the option? You never gave me the option. Well, because this is more. This Shut is up, different, Zach. You fucking got <laughs> me. Because I'm, I'm special. Because she's a special princess. Zach, you're a ranger, all right? 67. Shit, you're right. 67. Okay. So close. Also, yours is off the Truly. off the bow, whereas hers. Yeah, is like I'm st- I'm still deep. shooting the bow. You're a ranger, so though. That's why. Oh. You're our ranger. Uh, <laughs> huh. <laughs> okay. So. Yeah, as you're as you're walking, and all these emotions are swirling through your head, the you see Zygon coming back. You kind of have been keeping an eye on him, <laughs> and for about six seconds, something in your brain is like, "That guy is going to kill me." I this is like it is this overwhelming fear of Zygon washes over you for about six Except- seconds. And then it's gone. Okay. The thing she rolled was she's frightened of the next creature she sees for the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fleeting like, fear. Yeah, it's like a whoa, and then you're good. Okay. It's like when you see a shadow and you wake up at night and you're like, oh, and then you're oh, just, and you're like, oh, never mind, we're good. Uh, we're good. Yeah. It's, it's like when I see Caleb. <laughs> <laughs> And then it's gone. Um, 
So the <laughs> caravan travels along a little bit. Love and me. Cyrus uh, turns around and uh, he kind of <laughs> slows his, his cart down a little bit. All right, so uh, what what was it you wanted to tell me? Or us, I guess. Am I going to take the lead? Hunter, take the lead. Hunter, can you move um, a little I'm more center camera? Because your character on the screen is right where your face was, <laughs> so no one can yeah, see Yeah, but he was, immer he was immersing himself so that when you looked at Hunter's camera, oh, yeah. you would Let me Anzu. just make Anzu bigger real quick. <laughs> Birdie. You're gonna have to make him a lot bigger to be normal. <laughs> Whoa. Gnome shame. Damn right. Look, we're we're on YouTube only. We can be <laughs> racist. Anyway. No. <laughs> No, no. YouTube's been cracking down on that a lot. The flag and slayers do not condone racism, <laughs> even if it is in D and D. That is not our ranger. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, please don't. Anzu start this. has the duck. <laughs> not starting this. Cyrus, what is your earliest memory? Right. Think about it for a second. Well. Uh, I was, I think, about three years old, and my mama was making an apple pie, and it smelled really good, and, and I stopped hitting the tree I was hitting with a stick, and I ran back inside, and we had pie. Well, the reason I wanted to talk to you was because I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. Um, you see, I've tried to uh, get my mission done in various ways, typically violent, and... For once, we are trying a diplomatic uh, attempt. Because if I'm being honest, uh, I am losing. We are losing. Um, and then I heard that there was a group called the Five mm. in Western, which was interesting because I know of two groups named the Five. And I thought what was more interesting is that one of them was named Cyrus. Uh, Cyrus. What? One of the groups was named... No, one of the people in the groups was named Cyrus. Oh, sorry. Misheard you. It's all good. Um, Cyrus, how did you come in to join the Five? Well, um... Hmm. A few years ago, uh, I was kind of wandering a little bit. Caleb, you okay over there? Yeah, I keep going. You're good. <laughs> a few years ago, I was wandering around a little bit and taking odd jobs here and there, you know, guarding this person, taking this person. Uh, then had a job that went kind of bad, and uh, Annalise was on that job with me. We hadn't met anywhere before, but we got each other out of there. And uh, we started to start traveling around. And then a few months after that, we uh, we uh, broke up this uh, illegal fighting ring. And uh, Maxim was uh, one of the fighters in there. And uh, he decided to come along with us. And then uh, Gunther was expelled from the Alabaster Lyceum uh, because uh, his his gadgets were a little bit too uh, volatile yes, for uh, 
for the Lyceum's Lycan, so uh, we picked him up there. And then Nelly's only been with us a few weeks at this point. Um, but uh, she's a good girl. Um, she said um, she said her her uh, her her family got taken or something. It's it's a pretty sad story, but um, we're trying to find leads on that. Um, but yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the formation. The five is is something the people of Western started calling us. Uh, we don't really have a, a group name, but uh, we'll take it for now. So, when he mentions all those names, do I... Because his group, the five, the original mm -hmm. five, was up and coming when my original group was... Was also around, and, yeah. So they were kind of like, they knew of each other very well. Yeah, at that yeah, okay. so make a history check. You do know that um, Thea's mom... Frenella was part of that group. Uh, 26. 26. You've been thinking about it. You're kind of lining things up. You remember that they had five members and Cyrus was an original member who died in combat doing some on a quest of some sort and he died and then they replaced him with another um person who you vaguely remember the name gunther maybe that was who replaced cyrus um and this was like centuries ago right this would have been or one century 50 years at least about well so 50 years is it's it's before then because it was before theo was born right and so Thea's it's over a hundred would you like to correct them on your age? I'm 104. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, so I'm about, it's oh, I'm thinking about when her mom died. Sorry. So it's over it's been at least okay. like 120 years. And Cyrus is human. He has always been human. Um, and also, <sighs> like, no one besides uh, in that original group, you also know Shabira was a member of that original group, and she is not here for sure. Do um, I recognize her from that original group? Do you recognize Shavira? Yeah. Or does she look? She was completely... disguised as a little girl. Okay. So, so you didn't know she was a dragon. What was the name of my original group? Can we call it the Cobalt? That I mean, you Cobalt can call it. it. Okay. It's your. We're gonna be called the Cobalt because that just makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Cyrus, do you remember a group called the Cobalt? Cyrus. Think of very Cyrus. hard. Not serious. Serious is like Cyrus. what? <laughs> hmm. You know, I maybe heard of them in passing sometime, mm. but no. Um. No, I can't say. Can't say I have. Well, I'm just going to be very forward and blunt with you. What I'm about to tell you is probably going to mindfuck you. Um, and I'm not too sure what you're going to do with it, but I would prefer if you just keep it to yourself and observe from here on and see if you can pick up on more clues yourself. Um, could you do that for me? Uh... I, I don't know how to respond to something like that, but I'll try and I'll try and keep it together. Cyrus, you died over a century ago. And we were never particularly good friends. We didn't hate each other, but we knew of each other. And out. here you are sitting in front of me with the man who also replaced you after you died in combat. Now, that might explain why I'm acting a little odd around you, because I'm not quite sure why you're sitting here in front of me. Kind of takes it in for a second. 
and you just see it kind of cracks a smile and it's like <laughs> now I know that y'all are probably more more seasoned than we are and you've probably seen some more stuff but <laughs> do I know something he doesn't can can I give him a fact about himself that only like someone who was alive a century ago would know Hmm. Yeah, make a history check, because like you said, right. you weren't insanely close, but... Like, maybe we were at a bar, and he told me a story about how he shit himself as a kid or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, 26. Okay. Um, one night after your two groups had worked on a job together, um, and this was early on in their career like mm -hmm. Frenella wasn't even a member of the team yet like they weren't even the five yet there was only three of them um surprisingly none of those members that were part of the group that you initially met are here besides cyrus mm -hmm. um and cyrus and you being the not the leaders but definitely more of like the cores of your groups um he told you a story about how he, um, when he was a little kid, his dad was a member of the city guard at Western. And his dad gave him a training sword that they would use during, um, you know, training exercises on, on the camps. Um, and he, he used that sword so much that it eventually became like a little twig basically like a, just a little piece of it remained and he would keep that piece with him uh in a uh, necklace that he carries around his neck uh that everyone else thinks is just no one else knows why he carries it Does he, have he didn't tell anyone it? else uh he doesn't have a name for it oh every good sword deserves a name it's just a it's a wood practice sword <laughs> um okay but he, splinter. He carries it. A splinter. Yeah. Woody. Uh, he, he carries... Morning wood. He, he carries it around, uh, all around his neck, and everybody else thinks it's just like a piece of petrified wood that he carries around. But okay. he told you the real reason. Cyrus, one time I had a great story of a decent friend of mine who once practiced with his father, and his father gave him a wooden practice sword. And he wore that thing down so much that it became a little twig. And he turned that twig into a necklace right here. Would you care to show me that? You see, Cyrus, his expression has changed from amusement to concern, maybe a hint of anger. He, um, he pulls out from underneath his shirt the small piece of wood that he keeps around his neck. <laughs> now, um, I don't take kindly to people digging around in my head. But I'm listening. Cyrus, I wasn't joking when I said you died a century ago. It was in a battle, you were on a mission, something like that. Gunther then replaced you, but I'm not quite sure why you're here right now. I have been fighting a group called the Five. It's not the same Five as you. And I have discovered that they can make clones of us, and I believe they may have made a clone of you, and you are now standing in front of me. But I have no idea why they would do this. I don't understand their intentions, and they plan on ruining everything. And by everything, I mean the world. Um, quite literally, everything. Um, and if I'm being honest, we are losing. Well, um, I, 
I, I don't know what exactly to say. Um, I There's much more to this that I don't think you have the mental capacity for. Um, do you see the elven girl down there, Thea? Uh, yeah. Also, she... I don't... I know there's a lot's going on. She can ride in the cart if she wants. Uh, um, I don't know how she got the little rain cloud above her. <laughs> That's weird. She... But... Uh, uh, it's so about sorcery. to make a lot of sense. You see, she has a syndrome where if she goes to sleep she may potentially blow up. Now, I believe you also have someone in your party that has the same issue. And well, that's because... I, I, hmm? I don't well, know about the blowing up thing, but, but Nelly's magic has been a little wonky for the last few days. Yes, well, fun fact, they may be related. Um, Is... Uh, hmm, uh, are they, like, sisters, or...? Not quite. He's so close. Very close. Apple from the tree. I mean, mother and daughter. He what? seems doing like I math in his you. head. I just no. There's no math involved. <laughs> but if but she's younger. Correct. Than her. Well, remember what I just told you. But... You're supposed to be dead, which means. You're we have a Nelly. We found Nelly a few days ago. How she? What? Well, I don't know. That's Actually, why I'm here to talk. Actually, a few weeks ago at this point. Well, what I'm saying is, okay. What I'm saying is, so you're saying that I'm a clone of me, who died over a hundred years ago, and that not only did they clone me, but they also got this this necklace of mine. And gave it to me so Cyrus. that I would have it, so that it reinforced the memory of the thing that I didn't actually do, but I did do because I am me, but I'm not. Look, I it it fucking bewilders me. It really does. I don't get it. Why wouldn't I remember dying? I'm not quite sure. Hmm. Hmm. Well, but I'll say right about now you got me about forty percent convinced. Forty percent. About forty um, percent. But you're getting there. Ah, uh, yes. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's it's a little mind-boggling. Um, not gonna lie. What else could I say to you? Uh, was there another story? There's probably not another story. Well, was hang there... on. Would Would you know how I got one of these? And you see it? I don't remember getting this tattoo. Uh, Annalise said that it was from us getting drunk one night, and you know, you know how you know how it is. Annalise um, is the fucking. And you see him, he pulls it down, and you see, um, what looks like some. Make an arcana check. Are you? Where are you? There you are, you little bitch. <laughs> Thirty-two. <laughs> Um, so you see this marking, and this marking is used primarily on, um, it looks like, um, like a spiral, and then within the spiral is arcane runes, and, um, it's hard, you can't quite tell what it is, you'd have to take a closer look. But it is some sort of binding mark. Can I what? cast... Go ahead. Inspect, or...? Yeah, go ahead. I, I cast it. Okay. This is a binding spell that ties him to someone, and if they activate it, they will have full control over him. What he uh, does, like everything. That's not good. Um, How but hard he is thinks it? it's just a tattoo. How hard is it for me to get rid of it? You would have to know 
So each binding is unique to the user. You would have to reverse engineer it. It would take you days to figure out how to reverse it. What if I had Animus help me? This is like our only shot. I'm I doing... will say, Animus, you have also seen this mark before. I'm doing something, but I just haven't brought it up yet. So, Animus, this mark is is the mark that um, would be that was put by um, by uh, Velshinar on the members of your mining uh, group. Okay. If someone tried to rebel, he would put this mark on them, and then they would just become. Are super, they? We're gonna do everything he said. No I problem. would assume all the marks, like per spellcaster, every mark might have a slightly different signature. Is that how so a every, spell works? So the way or is the works, rune the same, but it's just connected to a different same person? Connected to the wielder of the magic. Okay. Uh. I will keep that note in mind for now, because Anzu kind of already knows that. I also wanted to do something like off to this kind of what Zygon did when we started okay. walking. Okay. Jerk off in the woods. I <laughs> wanted to jerk off in the woods. I don't know if we can. I'm pretty sure he's got a cloaca. It's just a. Uh, I'm not. Me. I don't want to make any jokes. We've about had this, this discussion before. <laughs> It's just, anyway, it's not a straight up and down process in that way. I, uh, this is like the furthest we have ever gotten to infiltrating anything. I, like, we have got to try something here. I wanted to try to pray, and I know I can't use... I want to try and, I want to try and pray to the Lord. I know I can't My use, Lord. like, cleric abilities, but I've been able to kind of, like, halfway get to some of the things that you can do with... With some of this, I want to pray to the Raven Queen and ask about both Cyrus and Nelly because Cyrus is supposed to be dead and Thea's mom is supposed to be dead. And the Raven Queen, being the deity of death, should be able to give me something. Uh. Are you doing this while you're like in the cart listening? To no, the no. Talk? So I, at the beginning of the walk, Before I just, I just didn't okay. say this earlier because I didn't want to interrupt other people's sections. But okay. right when we started walking, I would have walked off and then probably okay. come back to Anzu asking this stuff. Roll uh, either. I'll let you do this. Okay. You can roll a d20, and you have to get over a 20, or on a religion check, or you roll percentage dice, and you have to get higher than a 70. Okay. Oh. Steris, make a perception check for me. <laughs> I'm gonna roll. Okay. Grass is green. Can, <laughs> can I add guidance or? If it's the percentage dice, no. No, to the it's religion 20, check. Yes. Okay, so I go off and I'm gonna start the prayer. I also am holding the deck of many things. I'm gonna have this be more yes, of a the, deck. Uh, be a just a deck of cards. What? Sorry, Brady unplugged my computer and it restarted. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my no phone is sitting on the computer. Brady's pissing me off. <laughs> okay. Well, now leave me alone. So I, I, I want it to be kind of a like it almost is a conversation turned prayer. So I'm gonna be saying like, this is just such a confusing thing. And it feels like we're once again in front of a group who's against us before we figured it out. And then I'm going to go into... Okay. Can you please tell me or show me some sort of sign as to why Cyrus or Thea's mom, a.k.a. Nelly, would be alive again? Or if they are truly dead, can I have some sort of reassurance of that? Uh, God, 24. As you are kind of around here, and also you've seen, there's, death is kind of prominent here for some reason. Um, you kind of 
look around for a second, and you see these two squirrels up on a tree branch. They're fucking. <laughs> they Just are going to off. town. No, um, They're going nuts. <laughs> God damn it. God damn I knew it. someone was going to say it. I knew someone was going to get there. Um, you see them just kind of chilling, you know, watching you. And then all of a sudden, a raven comes out of nowhere and swoops down and tries to grab one of them. And it misses. It goes back again trying to get the other one. It also misses. The squirrels then run away into the thicket. Can Animus understand this better than Caleb can? <laughs> to an extent, I understand this. Well, let's walk through it. So a raven, which would, in this, I would assume, symbolize the Raven Queen, uh, missed both chances at two different people who were supposed to die. Or they died, and the Raven Queen did not grab their souls when they died, and their souls got either taken away or escaped her in some way. By Either something of those else. Interpretations are valid. Okay. Do, can Animus pick up on something farther than Caleb can on I when mean, it comes? I mean, that's, that's pretty good, honestly. Okay. That's what I was trying to convey. One okay. Or the other. It's still a little ambiguous. Yeah. But in some way, shape, or form, the Raven Queen did not get their souls, or had their souls, and lost them somehow. Okay. So. My next question is, can I make some sort of check? Because there's a lot of information that I cannot remember, even though it's probably written down over the past hundreds of sessions we've played. Yep. That Animus can maybe put together who could have done this. Because, like, due to, obviously, like, Winnow Gear or the Five or, like, Marcaeus, like, all that is in my mind as, like, possibilities and stuff, but I feel like Animus, with the knowledge of, like, what he has, could possibly string together a better answer than I can right now make, with how much there is. Make an Arcana check. Okay. Adding guidance. Hey, Cirrus. Can you make a uh, survival check for me? Um... 30. 30. Fifteen. Fifteen. So, Sirius, as you're walking along, you're kind of walking along the perimeter of the caravan. You know, looking at the snow, seeing the green grass, just being like, man, this place is pretty cool. Um, you notice in the mud boot prints. Boot. Bigger boot. Um, is there any, uh, other than the, uh, is there anybody else walking... Zygon is also walking. I am walking, but I'm way out. Okay. This well, was, this well, this is. Oh, sorry. Now I'm back, at, now I'm back at the cart. Yeah. yeah. Time, but I'm walking next to, stuff. and I, I'm also not wearing yeah. boots, so all that doesn't matter. Yeah. His boots were made for walking. All that stuff. Yeah. What's um, with the boot? Uh, Z Zygon, do you two see the the boot tracks we got here? Do I see the boot tracks if I look? Yeah, he points them out. Pretty big boots. Probably big. larger human, anything larger than a human, basically. Some pretty big, uh, pretty big boots. What they say about big boots? Big feet. Back. Um. Uh. Um. I don't know. Do I recognize the boot? <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, I probably don't recognize. It, it looks like a standard, like traveler's boot. Like, um, so it's it's larger than human though. Yeah. So like giant or probably like, like a giant, size, uh, probably at minimum uh, a size twenty. Oh wow, that's like you got some shack size feet here. Size. Yeah. yeah. Um. Man, I would I love the idea that Shaq is a Goliath in D and D. How, uh, can, can I discern how long they've been there? I don't think I've ever used that word in a sentence before. You used it correctly, though. I, I, God damn it. Big word, Zach. 
Let's go! Big one word. for one, baby. <laughs> That's um, two big words in a row. Let's go. <laughs> um, you can tell that they're probably about two or three hours old. Are we, like, purpose? Like, are we on a trail? Yeah, you're on, like, a thing? road. Okay. Yeah, and there's a road that runs through the thicket that connects Western and Whitestone. And it seems to be the same, basically the same trail that Big Boot has been using. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know what to do with that information. Is there any other prints being, being laid? Make, make an investigation check. Oh, look at that. It's a natural 20. Um, you get down closer, kind of stopping, and you see this very faint powder that is kind of in some of the tracks. And as you pick it up, you kind of taste it a little bit. Coke. It's sulfur. Ooh, tasty. Um... Big old rotten egg fart taste in your mouth now, but you know that's that's what it's like being a ranger. Yummy. Does um, it taste like a cake? Gosh dang it, Zach! That's Fucking so... get out of here uh, right now disgusting. with that garbage! I've been, I've been waiting. <laughs> that for is that horrible. So that is grotesque. It's a thing, but never mind. Um, We're not. We'll explain to the group oh. after, but <laughs> it, <laughs> not to YouTube. Uh, you guys don't need to. to no, YouTube's right. already freaky enough. Anyway. Um, you also notice, as you investigate longer, there is some sort of creature that is also within these tracks, and it has at least six legs. And as you look, you find a small blue scale. Does it look like a kitty? It does not look like a kitty. It looks more no. reptilian in shape. Uh. Scale. Um, can I pick up the scale? Yeah, you pick it up. Um, as you pick it up, like a little bit of static electricity as you pick it up and just, <laughs> and then you pick it up. Oh boy. Oh, these fucking things away. try to kill me. Um. I, wait, did it kill me? I think it killed me. <laughs> I love how Andrew's having a little freak out in the cart. It's like, wait a second. There go, look what I found. Uh, I, I walk, I run to him like a little kid that found like a nickel <laughs> on the ground. Saka, 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 Saka. Yes, yes, yes. I'm tempted to make no. you roll a dexterity check to see if you don't trip, because kids do that when they oh, do that. he's <laughs> a ranger. He's a ranger, he's he's good. I'm he's high stepping. You could probably use that in an arrow. What's your preferred terrain, Truth. real quick? Uh, Sirius, what's your preferred terrain? That's a Flat. great question. It's, uh, beach. I think it's, like, this ranger knows or beach. Shit like that, beach. I think. I think it is mountains, because I remember when we were in the Stormcrest, you were like, Stones. you had some bonuses. Forests are basically mountains without hills. I mean, you're getting close to a mountain range. There's snow Did on the I investigate around. the scale? Do I don't know the scale? Yeah, so you have fought one of these things before. Um, blue scales, electrical powers. This is a scale of a Bahir. Um, mm. Yeah, Bahirs are almost pseudo-dragons. They're like these giant lizard things that can shoot lightning. They're really they're, cool. They're very cool. <laughs> when, did, when did we fight one? Uh, so God, it was a second ago. You're in a was, dungeon. It was a, few, it was a few years ago. You guys were in a dungeon, and you triggered a trap that spawned a bunch of monsters, and you fought a Bahir, a Manticore, uh, I want to say a Chimera, uh, a yeah. Basilisk. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I don't. I don't even think I fought. I think I literally spent the whole time running. Yeah, because the Cause Bahir like, shot you with its lightning breath, and it almost killed you in one hit. And then I tried to escape to Zygon, but the fucking Manicore was there. Some crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. The f and where where are we going? Um, for no, this must have been a traumatic one for him because I don't remember you that. You guys fight are headed all. towards Whitestone. <laughs> but you oh, do that, very that clearly actually, died. That actually, that was the night, time. Caleb. That you got super. No, 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 no. I, I wasn't it. The night I got super drunk was when we fought ourselves in a mirror. Oh, that was after you guys fought. I stuff. blacked I out think. to a point of forgetting 10 to 15 minutes of, of my life. Barbarian Anzu. 
Not to yeah, the point of passing out, for... just forgetting what that fight was, basically. Yeah. Hey, we've all been there. Uh, we've all been uh, there. Uh, <laughs> we... <laughs> we've all been there, guys. I have never been there. Uh, should I... I... Not much. Just... Should no, apparently you're missing everything when you there. Hunter, you got dragged up to sing all the small things. Fuck you. <laughs> I had to carry you. Literally dragged. Uh, anyway, um... <laughs> Trying to get this thing off Cyrus is going to be multiple days, even if Animus helps you. <sighs> I, I want to at least tell him what it is. Okay, Oof. you could I'm maybe. Tell him what it is. So, Anzu, there is there is something you could do where you could put basically a counter charm on the mark itself, to where it might not like prevent it, but it could lessen the effects or block it in some way. That would take probably about a day. Do I know? You'd have to create the counter charm. Do I still... know anything that people like? And we'll say you have an advantage try... on it because you're a gnome. Yeah, I do. Was anyone successfully able to do it in the shadow in Shadowfell? Do None I... of you were magically inclined. Uh... None of you were magically inclined, so it wasn't. No, I, I you could really do. Is there something uh, from now? The there sh are like there are some beings like. Gods can easily get rid of it. Okay, well but... let's just let's cut the god part out. Maybe That's lower, a harder lower to get than to. gods. High level wizards are easily okay, warlocks. Okay, so uh, Anzu's with helping their patron. Okay, I'm high level. Um, I mean, honestly, Zygon might be able to help too. With All right, no Zygon. No lose, uh, come on, get guidance. Get in here. Wait, before I come back, what what do I get with my Archicana check? I'm trying to piece it all um, together. I got okay, a thirty. So, okay a little bit of a lore dump. The way the clone spell works is a piece of a deceased person is put into a vessel and okay. it is grown into a new body. Upon death, usually people use like a piece of their skin or their hair or something like that, right? On or death, if they have like a soul. bad eye. On death, your soul goes to the clone. Would that, um, that would have had to happen where the clone that, was already created. Exactly. So and they were alive a, few, a long time ago. Yeah, over a hundred years. Thea's Cyrus mom. died over a hundred years ago. Thea's mom died, I believe, fifty like to 60. seventy yeah. something. No, it's like fifty four. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's it's, but it's been longer than like Tuesday. Um. So, um, there is as you're kind of thinking about this, there is a way. If you have a way of sealing someone's soul inside of something. Right. But so in theory, other demonic forces could do the same. And all of the afterlives that people go to are accessible. Just, I mean, you guys have been to Gnome Afterlife. So yeah. a question on this also... Can I make some sort of connection on... I know I'm trying to do this a lot, but it's also just, like, a lot of things I'm trying to remember. Furthermore... Okay, keep going. Yep. As you're kind of thinking about this, something is tickling you in the back of your mind that has to do with the black spores. You can't... You, you, there's something there. You just can't quite... Oh, we researched them so hard, too. Anzu has... There is... There is something there, and you can't quite. Wasn't I it. the one that researched it? Me and you, you and worked Anna's, in a lab. Yeah, for and then and Thea days. also. Oh, Thea, partially. yeah. But Thea had to be a little bit more careful. Yeah. Because, but you know that Anzu and Thea are both carriers. Yes. Something else I'm trying to connect is Nelly and Thea. If Nelly is a clone of Thea's mom. Mm -hmm. That clone would have had to been around, which would be plausible because the clone, well, the two places we found that have clone vats, seem to be already used up their purpose and been around for a long period of time. With the extent of how big they were and how hidden they were, you you also so, have found notes from Marcaeus that put him being here around a hundred years, maybe seventy at the minimum. Yes. So, with 
Nellie and Thea having this weird sorcerer like energy that could make them explode. Is there a connection I could make between like because Nellie is a clone of like of like Thea's family that it's affecting Thea or is it more an individual thing to where they both have the problem and if you fixed one it wouldn't have anything to do with the other you that's a little bit beyond you okay um there there could be a connection because if you kind of run the numbers around the time Thea started having this problem was around the time that Cyrus has said that Nelly and we'll say that up. you've been putting this all together while Anzu has been talking to Cyrus so you're still there to be able to see the mark and yeah. be able to process all of that um there the volatility in their magics coincide with each other yeah and Nelly showed up a couple days ago but where has she been for 70 years Wait a second. They're suicide bombers. They could be. I think they're all suicide bombers. I don't think they know it. Yeah. I don't hate that 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 conclusion. That that could be a smart way to go on this. Especially if Winnow Gear came to Annalise and said, Can you monitor it instead of just Fixing it. The only thing I don't know is why them. That part I don't get. Maybe it's just because they were strong. It's probably because. But Thea's, why else would you want to well, take yeah. control of them? Well, Cyrus and Thea's mom originally would have had to have had clones. Cyrus a hundred years ago, Thea's mom seventy years ago. Probably both made around the same time in the first place, and Thea's mom's clone just didn't activate until Thea's mom passed away from the black spore. Cyrus obviously a lot earlier because he died in combat where have they been for a hundred years though have they just been stashed in a, a uh, vat with their soul and been put under some sort of sleep spell for a hundred years um, preparing for this moment where they could reactivate this group of five that were once very powerful in the world because shavira was part of the five. Oh, if shavira was part of the five originally and she made clones of her own group because she knew that her own group was powerful enough to yeah, do yeah. what she wanted them uh, to do. Cyrus, do you remember a girl named Shavira? Hmm. Is Shavira a clone? That's another question. Can you clone a dragon is a big question, too. No, she's a dragon. She wouldn't have had to clone. She them. wouldn't need to. No, she there is a wouldn't. thing. There is a thing wizards can do where they true polymorph into a dragon, take a sample of like scale or something from that dragon, put it in a clone spell, and then when think, they die, they come back as a gold dragon. I think if we're talking about that, I, I may, I may, I may. I'm on do that. Be kind of cool. If we're talking um, about the power of like these guys to be able to number one switch over from a different existence overall into our yeah. world. Like, there's a very high possibility they could have cloned a dragon. I don't think that part's as important as Cyrus and Nelly right now, but it is just, like, a thought so, to have. Cyrus thinks about it. No. No? I can't say I do. Cyrus, that's uh, not good. She was the, one of the, the five. The name's familiar, but it's not... Yes. Oh. You are very good friends with her. Rumored lovers. Bird. Hmm. Can't say I, I do. I made that part up. But, um, we are going to get that mark off of you. Well, we're going to counter charm it. Well, what, what is it? Well, right now, if somebody wanted to, they could take control of your body and then do unspeakable acts with it. So it, it's not a cool tattoo. Um, no. It is Where's not Nelly? A cool tattoo. So Nelly is in the cart in front of Cyrus's with Maxim and Gunther. Okay, I wanna. She's just kind of chilling. You do notice that she is sleeping. I want to I mean... walk ahead. I want to kind of give Anzu a look while he's talking about the tattoo and walk ahead. 
Because I'm going to try to see if Nelly has a tattoo. I know that's a lot to ask because I don't. Okay. I well, okay. So you know, how, like this is gonna act like, really no, weird. No, no, no I'm not that. gonna. I'm not gonna like do anything. I'm just trying to see if like because back tattoos can come up like uh -huh. above the shirt line. Yeah. That's. Well, what, I'm not, not going her, to walk up not, there and so, start taking her clothes off and I, looking for a fucking God. tattoo. Uh, um, it might not be on her shoulder. Cyrus says it's on his shoulder. Yeah. Um, but it detect magic. You could probably do something with a detect magic, yeah. I'd like to do that. Okay. Um, so you kind of walk up a little bit, stretching your... Acting like you're just kind of stretching out. You know, you've been in the cart a little while. Um, you cast a detect magic. And um, in the cart, Gunther and Maxim are both marked. Okay. Uh, Gunther's is on the um, back of his head. You can actually see it. Um, he's grown hair a little bit over it, but you can see it through the hair. Maxim's is on the inside of his hand, of his left hand. Okay. Um, or I guess you would call it the palm. Um, would cutting ne off... Nelly doesn't have one. That's disgusting. Oh, she's really new, though. She's very you new. You do notice, though... The amount of magical energy that is peeling off of her is immense. There is a lot of unstable magic. Just straight up just take her to a different plane of existence and let her blow up. Just an intrusive thought I had as, as <laughs> I, just, I, I really shift and blow I up. really I thought really like shift. I was really like for about ten seconds I'm like if I plane shifted and the rest of the group now had to deal with trying to explain what just happened how would that go down probably don't um, want to do that right as away. you're kind of stretching out you see uh, Annalise come back and she kind of says something over to Maxim who's driving the cart and then she goes past mm -hmm. you. As she goes past you, she also does not have a mark. Is she casting any spells right now? Is nope. there Okay. She she's doesn't have a horse. mark. Nelly doesn't she have a mark, mark, which could be multiple reasons, but she's very new, and that's the reason I want to hope is the reason. Is they haven't put one on her yet. <sighs> okay. She comes over to Cyrus, Anzu, as you're sitting there. Uh, Cyrus, we've been traveling for a few hours now. Um, perhaps we should take a break. And he says, well, I, I could use a stretch. <clears throat> they pull off to the side. Um, Thea. Mm -hmm. um, you see Nelly get out of the cart, and she kind of looks around a little bit, and then you see her kind of scamper off into the the wooded area near you guys. Um, you kind of are getting into kind of like a highland style environment. Um, mm -hmm. So there's not a ton of like trees or anything, but um, she kind of goes off to, on her own. Mm -hmm. She's gonna be a little sneaky and follow her. Make a stealth check. What'd you roll? Um, I have to find my stats. Where'd they go? I think it's a. I think it's a twenty-six, but I gotta double check. It's a 29. Okay. Um, no. 28. You kind of sneak through. Um, you see... She kind of looks around. She doesn't seem to notice you. Um, and you see her begin to kind of glow with this magical energy. Is this like... Whoosh, whoosh this magical aura is kind of coming off her pulsating. 
Um, it then, in a quick burst, goes out, and you feel this wave of energy wash over you. Uh, roll percentage dice for me. Oh, God. Okay. Ooh, 29. 29. Let's see here. 29? 29? Oh, date. Oh, date. Date. So, Thea, you feel yourself kind of, your magic kind of bubbling up, this, this sorcery magic bubbling up, and you see um, a crater is beginning to form around Nelly as, it, as the magic gets bigger as she's kind of sinking into the ground, um, and your magic seemingly reacting to hers you teleport directly in front of her. No. Oh. The two Later of you lock bitch. eyes as she immediately is scared. And she looks at you and she says, I, it's, it goes out again. Oh, no. Uh, Thea, you take She's exploding. 20 D6 <laughs> damage. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my oh. god. Can I look over at Sire Smith? What, what are we at now? 80, 100%. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. I rolled four sixes on the initial six dice. <laughs> you're, sh uh, you're shitting me, right? <laughs> 24, 28, 27. Okay, so I'll roll four and then I'll be in. Uh, 33, 36. Mm. And another 42, 47, 49, 51. No, 52. My bad. And then four more. 57, 63. 63 points of uh, damage. That's baby numbers. Don't worry, Theo. You're fine. Um. Nelly lets out a scream as this explosion engulfs the two of you. Um, as the smoke clears, you see her in the crater. Um, most of her clothing has been shredded off. You see her skin is like, it looks sunburned. Like, really badly sunburned. You see, like, second degree burns on her hands and her uh, feet seemingly where the magic burst out. Mm -hmm. um, she's breathing heavy. Um, you you kind of try and take care of her. Um, she has a fever. Probably pretty high. Um, mm -hmm. She then looks up at you kind of in a feverish state and says I never wanted you to see me this way and then she just passes out oh no that's where we'll take tonight's oh. uh, brief break so yeah Nellie lays in this crater unconscious barely clothed seemingly sunburned and second degree burns on the hands and the feet what are you gonna do I'm going to cast Heal on her. Okay. And she heals 70 hit points. Side thing, Jacob. Burns. I'm watching you, Annalise. Continue. Okay. You, you see the burns um, heal. And her skin kind of goes back from being like pinkish to being back to its normal color. Mm -hmm. um, her breathing becomes less haggard. And you need to make a wisdom saving throw. <clears throat> 25 okay um you feel something kind of tickling the back of your mind um and as you look around you see at the top of this crater which this crater is about 60 feet deep this was a massive explosion 
Um, as you look up, you see this dark mist kind of rolling at the edge of the crater. And you see like a shadowy figure looking down upon the two of you. Can I turn turn on like try to turn undead? Uh yeah. What's the range on turn undead? I believe it's 120. Oh wait. Right? No, no, it's not. It's only I think it I'm might only be 30. Um you think to do it and then you catch yourself as you're like maybe a little far. Yeah. Um you then uh the rest of you see this massive explosion. And uh, Annalise immediately gets on her horse and rides out. Um, out? Thea, she's riding towards the explosion. Oh, um, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Was it big enough? Like, did did we notice it, or is it something that we all just kind of heard? It's about a mile away. Oh, okay. okay. So, so we you, did not. I thought we were all in a the vicinity. Explosion. No, you saw the explosion from a mile away. I'm yes, going. I, I'm also going. Yeah. For so, sure, Annalise, you, Thea, as you're kind of trying to figure out what to do, you hear these hoof beats um, go in, and Annalise literally rides through the smoke uh, and the figure, and the figure just kind of dissipates. Um, and then she goes down, she dismounts, gets over, shoves you out of the way. No, she does not. She tries to make a, str- make a contested strength check. I will deck her if I have to. <laughs> um, it's just a sixteen. I also rolled a sixteen. Uh-huh. Defender. So, <laughs> hmm. Ty goes to the player. Ty. We'll roll again. Okay. We'll roll again. <clears throat> lot worse mine was also worse um just a 10 i also rolled a 10 (laughs) jesus christ guys so as the two of you are struggling annalise is like get out of my way she's she's my responsibility get out of my way she's my mother fuck off make a perception check how far behind am i jacob nope Make an insight check. Did you transform into an animal? Ooh. Yes. I, I feel like this would be a reason for me to have done that. Probably a, uh, a, a uh, one of the uh, Peregrine Falcon. I wanna insight like is 30. Okay. When you say she's my mother, for a split second, like, blink and you'll miss it. There is a recognition in her eye, in Annalise's eyes. And then she tries to hide it. She says, I don't know who you think she is. I know you know who I am. I do. And I don't appreciate you coming here and interfering in things that you know nothing of. Now get out of my way. And as she says that, you feel an overwhelming presence. Oh boy. Um, Let me look up how this works real quick. Can I turn from a peregrine falcon into a mammoth when I fly over her and just land on her? (laughs) Just crash. (laughs) You'll hit Thea if you do that. Can I be there by this point? Because I'm yeah, fast we'll as hell. Yeah, we'll say that you've, you've gotten there, and you're kind of circling the area to kind of gauge the situation. Oh, God. Uh, how does Thea look after you after you say this part? <laughs> she looks, no, she no. looks pretty bad. Well, yeah, hold on. I'm going to wait till what you say real quick, and then I'm going to decide okay. on if I can perceive uh, Thea, if Thea may need some help. wisdom here. saving throw. Oh, it's passed. Uh, it is a twenty-seven. No, yes. As Annalise is telling you to get out of the way, you see almost like this mental projection behind her, 
of a snarling dragon. Oh boy. <laughs> um, you resist the frightful presence, though. Oof. We've dealt with a couple of those. Um, she green, also... Is, is it a green dragon? Um, you don't... You can just see, like, the, like, the general shape. You can't really tell color or metallic nature. Um, mm -hmm. but you're not backing down. You are mm. severely injured, though. Like, you see bits of your clothing that aren't enchanted have been just shredded away. Um, you, you have blood coming from your eyes and your nose and your mouth and your ears. Your whole head. Um, mm -hmm. you have second degree burns on pieces, uh, parts of your chest, your hands, and, um, the tops of your feet. Jacob. Yes. I want to land. Okay. Conjure an earth elemental at the top of the okay. crater away from where the crater is like uh, over on the Are side you landing on top of the crater I, i'm gonna land at the edge of the crater i'm gonna okay. conjure an elemental while they're like in their like stare down uh earth mm -hmm. elemental across like uh -huh. behind me so that it's not seen from the crater uh-huh tell the elemental to dig and then kind of meet me in the middle but it's not gonna like shift the ground so it's not gonna be the presence shouldn't be seen Okay. Then I'm gonna go into the crater and I'm gonna heal, try to heal Thea. But I don't want to get too close if this is if there's something going on yet. So I'm gonna feel it out. I'll either heal her from afar or I'll try to heal her when I get close enough. You see, Thea, as you and Annalise are struggling and in, in this like mental battle here, mm -hmm. um, you see Nellie's body once again begin to kind of. <sighs> um. I'm gonna try to cast. I don't know if Greater Restoration would do anything, but like. Remember that time? Gonna... I was like, I could take her to a different plane, let her explode. No. <laughs> this is becoming um... more of a reality. <laughs> we'll say that while uh, everybody else is kind of getting there. Actually, you know what? <laughs> make a perception check. Angel what are we doing, Thea? <laughs> Three strikes, you're out, um, buddy. Really quickly, I'm just gonna, like, gather her up into my arms, and I'm gonna cast Plane Shift. Ah! You couldn't have okay. just Plane Shifted me, too! I'm right there! <laughs> now I'm so, stuck with this bitch! To wherever I can go. <laughs> God. The old Annalise Animus stare down. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab Cyrus, and I'm gonna Plane Shift. <laughs> you know what? Well, Everybody Plane about... Shift. I'm gonna grab my earth elemental, I'm gonna plane shift. But your elemental's like, what? I just got it. Sirius and I are just sitting there looking at the scale still. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> you got any twos? Oh, man. I am looking up plane shift real quick. Would I have gotten a heal off, or did she get away? Not get away, did she... This would, The heal would not have gone through yet. Okay, okay. She probably she probably won't even be present for you to do that. Yeah, I was probably inter like coming uh, down the crater while she plane shifted away. So now I'm truly in the crater with Annalise. Okay. Um Thea. <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity check. <laughs> oh, it's not good. It is not good. It is a seven. Oof. Okay. Um, I rolled a thirteen. Thirteen. Um. God. So. Real quick. Um, Sears, what's your roll on your um, perception check? 17. Okay. There we go. There is someone following you. That's our ranger. Behind us? Uh, about 
probably 20 yards. Uh, can I... That's about 60 feet, for those who don't yeah, know the yard yeah. conversion. A, a, our about... our non-American non viewers. A... <laughs> it's about 57 um... meters. Yeah, there, there okay, we go. Nerd. Okay, nerds. Um, can I... Are we, are are me and Zygon still staring at the scale? Or where, no, where you guys. We, that was a while we, ago. We, we you've off. seen you you guys rested, and now you've seen this explosion, and everybody else has kind of run off, and you guys are kind of bringing up the rear. I would like to. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Discreetly look behind us. There's That's another big, big word. word. Make stealth check. Uh, okay. Just to like so, see if I can tell who it is, what it is. Yeah. If I can fucking. Ooh, that is a dirty twenty. As you kind of look back, as you and Zygon are running towards the crater, um, you see what looks to be a um, a humanoid of some sort um, riding a horse, gaining on you guys. Like, quickly, or, like, just kind of trot? I mean, it's a horse against you, like, full gallop horse. Oh, it's, like, full. Yeah, full steam. Uh, I... Zygon, you also noticed this at this yeah, point. Say, I, you I, can I hear the horse behind you. Alert Zygon to the situation that is unfolding behind us. Hey, My uh... Gosh. We're in trouble. Yes, it's, this is uh, this is not a good sign. This is not a good time. Why is there so much happening? There's explosions. There, there's a lot happening right now. Zygon. There's a scale. There's a horse. There's a. You there's... see this figure well, is still... cloaked head to toe. You cannot see an ounce of skin on them. How far so away? Figures. Is he now? About twenty feet. Uh, can I use? Like the Eldritch Blast uh, them off of the horse. Hunter's okay. Sense <laughs> as well. Yeah. Uh, remind, Hunter's Sense is resistances. Immunities, uh, vulnerabilities. Immunities, vulnerabilities. Okay, let me get the monster manual out. It's a monster. It, kind of. I have this actually marked. I don't. Why do I have shadow marked? I really need to get my marking system better than just putting random card sleeves. Um... Hey, you should get some tabs that you can write on. Should I? Yeah. That's what I got. I got... Uh, no, these, these, these little guys. Okay, resistances. I got. Well, I use... Uh, resistances are necrotic, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical items. Um, what's the other thing? Vulnerabilities. Vulnerabilities zero. Well, the sun, but you know. Okay. Um, that, that. Being done dead. Immunities. Uh, uh, undead. Uh, Immunities uh, none. Uh, well, can't be like blast. immune to like disease and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Forget the Nothing Eldritch like Blast. I'm just gonna take one good swing with the sword and try to knock okay. him off. Yeah. Go okay. Well, Teddy Williams uh, knock it out. <laughs> Roll to see if you hit. Are you going for the horse or the the rider? Ooh, does the horse have armor on? Go the for horse the is armored. Yes. Go go for the head of the, the the thing. Yeah, I'm gonna go for the thing. Okay. I'm going Person. for the rider. Off his head off. Good. <laughs> it's like the Black Knight from Monty Python. I'm getting. <laughs> and I know we do this every time. You're getting what? Vampire vibes. I know. Vulnerable to the I sun. I know we do this every time. There's a this lot of things in D&D do that do don't this? like the sun, to be fair. Uh, true. But vampires don't, for sure. But vampires do. Definitely don't. What do I, what do I add to a uh, physical attack here? Your strength. Plus your uh, proficiency. Proficiency. Jeez Louise. You got it. Caleb, uh, edit that out, please. 19. Here, I'll, I'll aid you. you. I need clean air really quick. Proficiency. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, what's your rolls again? I'm sorry. Proficiency. Nineteen. Uh, nineteen hits. Hell yeah. Proficiency. <laughs> oh, that was an NPR mic. Um, so you hit, um, knocking the rider off as the horse disappears, and you see where it was where it was running. There is fire. Um, this person was riding a nightmare. Um, we have one of those. Just wake up. I know. Um, we still haven't got they it. They tumble <laughs> out, and you see the head covering they they had over their face um, comes off, and you see their skin immediately begins to kind of smoke. Uh, it, you, rec- funny, yeah. you recognize this person? Uh, oh this my god! I was gonna say Rupert. Rupert. Oh, it's Rupert. He's back, yeah. baby. Uh, so back to Rupert. Thea. Um, Thea, as you plane shift, you see Annalise goes out and grabs your arm, and you all three disappear. Uh, do you have any plane in mind as to where you're trying to go? Um, I don't remember if Singorn is still in the Feywild or not, but that was like. So you want to try and go there? Near it, yeah. Okay. Well, as the three of them in the crater disappear and Rupert tumbles and covers himself quickly to not be affected by the sun, uh, that will be where we end tonight's session. Well, I'm just, you. I love it. I'm just sitting in a crater. <laughs> so fun. Doing the John Travolta meme from Pulp Fiction. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well. Well, thanks everybody so much for watching. That was super fun. Um, a lot of stuff going on. A lot of stuff happening. Stuff and things. Got some um, real impulsive choices. Yeah, some real impulsive choices. But I'm proud we'll of face you. Those consequences next time for taking what I said and literally doing it. Because <laughs> I forgot I had it. <laughs> See, right. it became a plausible idea once you realize, oh, this could work. <laughs> That's oh, all we've got um, for tonight. We'll see you guys later. Because that is Shavira.